Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time with episode 95, which sees us starting out here in Diamond City, about to go talk to Ellie at Valentine's Detective Agency and wrap up the very last bit of Far Harbor. And then we'll move along with the regular story. So let's head on into Valentine's Detective Agency and watch as Mo contemplates his door. Okay, anyway, moving right along, in we go. Ellie, we're home. Hi, Ellie. Miss Perkins. You're back. How did everything go with the Nakano case? Um, personal space, Ellie. Okay, well, we found their daughter. I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north near Far Harbor. She's back home safe and sound. That's great. We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping you on your toes, Nick. Oh, back of Nick's head, don't be so jealous. Alrighty, you know... Looking at Ellie and her dirty clothes, it really strikes me that... I know it's a post-apocalyptic world, but it's been a post-apocalyptic world for a really long time. And the reason people wash themselves and their clothes is so they don't get sick. I really don't think everybody would be running around in tatters. Anyway, let's head on out to Diamond City. What do I know? Okay. And we are now heading over to... Do what? Let's see. Vault Tech Calling? No, we've done that. Nuka Cola, we're doing that. Confront Sister Gwyneth? We're not going to be doing that. Or what Adam requires. Dangerous Minds. Got a rogue robot. Investigate the Brotherhood of Steel airship. Ghoul Problem at Somerville Place. Oh, wow. Haven't even... Uh, checked into those. Let's see, what do we got down here in Miscellaneous? Help defend the Starlight Drive-In. Well, let's head off and do that quick, and then we will head over and talk to Dr. Amari in the Memory Den in Good Neighbor. But, looks like we made it back to help the Starlight Drive-In one way or the other. Guns up. Is that it? Can't be it. I guess it could be it, but let's see what the old quest log has to say about it. Miscellaneous? Nope, still have not defended the Starlight Drive-In quite enough. We'll take your 838 oh, rounds. Someone should make use of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, where are they? Way out there. Who's who? Don't want to shoot the wrong person. I can't even see what they're shooting at over there. There we go. Still in one piece. A little bit of green goo. Fix that right on up. No, no. Now where? Something out there. Okay. And that did it. We have completed helping the Starlight Drive-In. 1238 rounds, some nuclear material, wonder where that came from. And let's head on over here. 838 rounds. Okay. Excuse me. Thanks for your help fighting them off. You bet. Glad I to help. Glad to help out. I can't argue with your timing. Who knows what would have happened to us if you hadn't been here. Anyway, we appreciate the help. And remember, enjoy a refreshing Vim. Oh, our settlements are woefully undefended here. But, that's sort of the price of chasing down the story. And, while we're on the subject, 
let's chase down the story. Let's see what we're carrying. 299 out of 322. Oh, we're probably good enough to go visit Good Neighbor. Park Street Station looks like the closest thing. So let's drop into stealth for the good it'll do. And head over to Park Street Station. Hadn't realized we hadn't been to Good Neighbor yet. Well, that wasn't very neighborly. Okay, and... Here we go. Just need to uh, get my bearings here. It's been a while since I've been out here. Between Vault Tech and Nuka World and... Here, 545 rounds. Bottle cap, 8 flamer fuel. Old granary burying ground, nuclear material, and I can. Franklin. And let's see, cotton yard. Gunner with 13 bottle caps. And a duffel bag with 8 fusion cells, 938 rounds, and stuff. Oh, let's take that frag mine. And see if we can't line up good neighbor here. Okay. Sure, I like buses. Poor soul who did not make it on his last drive and some of the passengers a sea captain's hat. And we will let them go back to their slumber. Might run into some super mutants about here, so I guess we should get this back out. Oh. What's that? that would be me shooting you down, super mutant. 750 caliber rounds. Uh oh. Thankfully, I didn't just get myself stuck there. And let's go visit our super mutant friend with three bottle caps, 15, 38 rounds, and a stuff. Victor, what is it? Someone there? <laughs> there you are. They're here somewhere. Yeah, apparently. One down. They're shooting at me. I guess they're shooting at Nick. Let's see if we can't. Uh... Nope, nothing up this way. Okay, well. Hello. Six thirty-eight rounds. We'll take those. You'll never leave here alive. Come on, peek your head out. There you go. And a super mutant down. You guys could at least have some fun stuff here. All right. 1238 rounds. 14 five millimeters. Stimpak, purified water. Desk fan, sure. Well, we'll ain't that. that a blast from the past? It is a wind blast from the past. Love doing that. Smashing the sandbags with power armor. Okay, and let's see here. There would be good neighbor. Let's smash some more sandbags. Or not. Some sandbags are too strong for power armor, apparently. And they would be all of those. 
Okay, well, anyway. Good neighbor, here we come. Hello. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Back Better off. back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Valentine disliked the fact that I stood up to... Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Well, now handled. I know you had old Finn handled back there. But a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. You alright? Yep. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Four bottle caps, seven 308 rounds, a bobby pin, and stuff. All right, well... Let's Whoever go visit the local is, arms merchant. I'm not buying that we come in peace malarkey. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. <laughs> All right. What are you? That's not very kind to say, but I have to ask just so we hear her response. What are you? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? You're a robot. Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now what are you buying? More than robot enough. What's an Assaultron? You're... an Assaultron? That's what my maker has called me. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. So what'll it be? My kind of woman. Let's barter. I've got a few minutes to browse. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Oh, now that's service you can't just get anywhere. Okay, we have a wild variety of 556 and probably shouldn't spend all my caps buying more, but it's so hard not to. And let's see what else do we have here. We don't want to get rid of our marine legend of the harbor. Acadia Shield. We don't want to get rid of that stuff. But let's see what she's got for weapons. Anything fun? A party starter. Does 50% more damage against humans for 11,000. Power Armor Frame. Someone was asking me about Power Armor Frames. You can buy them in various places, but you can find them all over the Commonwealth as well. And let's see, she carries oil, lead, ballistic fiber, and copper. Not too shabby. Fusion cores, 461. Shotgun shells by 46. Let's take a look at my shotgun shells. Where are they at? 513. Oh, I suppose. Um, let's see, what? 322. Sure. I like Cleo. I like doing business with Cleo. Okay, so, thank you, Cleo. Most kind. Now we are off to the memory den. Whoa, 
now that is some armor. Check out those hydraulics. Why, thanks. Okay. And... Yeah? Captain Cosmos and the Monkey of Doom. The Memory Den. Hey, you know what? While we're here... I do believe... We can also meet up with the Silver Shroud quest line. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. Wow, Nick's fast. I thought you had forgotten about the low me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. So here's the thing. Memory den. Pre-war soul survivor. This place obviously has a lot of work put into it. It's got textures and items, machines, clothes, things that are not anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Here it's for why Amari. she's downstairs. It's why one expected a bit more of the pre-war world. Anyway, let's head on down and meet Dr. Amari. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Um... Hmm. Well, she probably knows Nick. Let's let Nick explain. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari. But it's not gonna be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please help us. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is there any way to break it? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's do All it. Right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See okay. you on the other side. And I think we have reached an end to episode 95, and we will 
join Nick in Memories Past in episode 26. I would like to thank you for joining Nick and I in this adventure. And I would also like to thank you for all of your kind words and support. You guys are and continue to be the best community on the internet and on YouTube. And I really, truly do appreciate that. I would also like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be in on my channel about page. Also, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.